New York Yankees fans yet again. It is Felix from nynews.com. In the past, and we appreciate what Gio's done, but but he's not Josh Donaldson. Say say what? In the past, and we appreciate what Gio's done, but but he's not Josh Donaldson. Was he talking about the same Gio Urshela that has one of the best batting averages since 2019? In the past, and we appreciate what Gio's done, but but he's not Josh Donaldson. The same player that the Yankees traded away for a washed up silver surfer old man in Josh Donaldson, the same Gio that has shown no signs of slowing down ever since he turned his career around with the Yankees. In the past, and we appreciate what Gio's done, but but he's not Josh Donaldson. So folks, that was Brian Cashman about two years ago when he made that horrendous trade with the Minnesota Twins. Back when he, I guess, good old Cashman, when he was out there sleeping like a homeless hobo, that event he does every year. Kudos to him, by the way. I guess one of these uh, drugged-infused needles stabbed him, and he was hallucinating to the point where he thought making that historic, beautiful trade with the Twins was a good idea. But that was just one example of why we all knew the Yankees would suck coming into the season. If you're one of these positive Yankees fans, you're the problem. Hey, look, I'm not saying being a positive fan is bad. Of course, being a positive fan when the Yankees are actually winning and you know they have a great team, hey, that's a plus. But let's be realistic here. Fans like this are the problem. I had a little conversation with the Yellow Wine News team, some of them on Discord, and I was explaining to them, I was giving them and the viewers some inside baseball. The reason why George Steinbrenner was the boss, I'm not taking anything away from that legend. We all love George. But back in the day, I'm going to explain this again. The internet, as it is today, wasn't the same or didn't even exist. So the way the Yankees, George Steinbrenner, would re-engage the fan base, bring asses back to the seats, was to fire people, was to trade players. Then you would see it in your local newspaper. This is how they communicated with the fan base back in the day. Nowadays, these companies, these teams have so much of a reach, all they have to do to re-engage you, the positive living in La La Land fans, is to send you an email. They have these mailing lists. Let's say, wow, these, these fans don't like Josh Donaldson. These fans don't like the Yankees losing. Well, guess what? Their reach is so out of this world. Social media, emails. All they have to do is press a button and they're going to fill up seats. They're going to meet their quotas. This is why we're not seeing all these players traded. We're not seeing these coaches being fired. Because at the end of the day, There was a graph that I saw on Twitter the other day. Each and every season, the Yankees' revenue increases, increases, increases. Let's not forget, the Yankees are also a tourist attraction. They don't care if if Dylan Lawson says, who the hell cares? Just swing your hardest. Who cares about batting averages? Who cares if Anthony Volpe is solving his hitting while eating chicken parmesan with a double-A player. Who cares? As long as the Yankees' revenue increases, they could do whatever they want. This is why I go back to George Steinbrenner. The way he fixed that, the way he put asses into the seats, is by firing coaches, is by training players. And this is how media, back in the day, they re-engaged the fan base and made them happy again. Your local news stations would grab it. Local newspapers, etc. Again, we're living in a new age. The way you bring about changes, making the Yankees irrelevant. 
This is why I barely make videos anymore. You guys have been following me on this channel for qu quite some time now. I used to do them every day or even two videos per day. I decided to put the same effort that this organization puts in and these players put in. You bring about change by making the Yankees irrelevant. And again, this Yankees content creator thing has be become saturated too. So many people are doing it. Who does that help? It helps the Yankees organization. It helps them stay relevant. Hey, congratulations to people out there making content every day. This is not my job. I got a whole bunch of uh, websites, Yankees websites. They're on autopilot. But I will come on here from time and time again to speak facts. Because to be honest with you, people don't need to hear it every day. They're, they're watching the same games that we're watching. So when you see MY News Felix coming on here, it's like Funkmaster Flex dropping a bomb on radio. I'm going to speak facts. I'm going to speak. I, 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 let's say I'm going to be ahead of the curve. I'm going to say things that you're going to see transpire in weeks or months. Like Josh Donaldson being DFA'd eventually. Maybe uh, the Cardinals making a few uh, moves come deadline. Maybe you'll see a Nolan Arenado become a Yankee. Because Hal Steinbrenner has said that he's willing to add salary. To make a long story short, I already laid out the game plan, what the Yankees' problems are and what they have to do. Offensively, they are weak at the catcher position. Arm-wise, they are weak at the catcher position. They need one or two offensive bats that are all-star caliber. They need another relief pitcher. Their starting rotation, in my opinion, they're fine there. Let's use common sense. We've been whining and complaining about the Yankees for seasons now. Have they paid attention? Sometimes, uh, a few times here and there, they, they go out and sign a Garrett Cole. They, they go out there and re-sign a judge. They go out there, it's not looking good thus far. They go out there and sign a Rodon. But what about your Bryce Harpers? What about your Manny Machados? What about players like that? I even mentioned this in the Discord chat. Are we seeing players, newcomers to the game, that you watch them and say, wow, this guy is possibly going to be the next Barry Bonds or Alex Rodriguez? We're not seeing that. The, the only class you could say that for was the class of Bryce Harper, Manny Machano, et cetera, et cetera. We're not seeing those types of players being developed. And the train has passed by. The opportunity to obtain those types of players left the station a long time ago. And the Yankees purposely said, huh, we're not interested. So when is enough enough? It has been enough a long time ago. And the, re and the way you change that is, is making the Yankees irrelevant. Hey, they suck. Okay, stop talking about them. They're not worth talking about because we all know the Yankees suck without Aaron Judge. We don't need, you don't need me either coming online every day and telling you this. It just has to be done once and you just have to use common sense. In the past, and we appreciate what Gio's done, but, but he's not Josh Donaldson. This is the kind of idiotic front office we're dealing with. As long as they make revenue, as long as they hit their quotas, as long as you continue to go to the stadium, because I know a whole bunch of uh, Yankee players or fan favorites, even though they suck, just because they take pictures with you and just because they follow you back on Twitter, the Yankees organization and their front office is going to continue to sound like this. In the past, and we appreciate what Gio's done, but, but he's not Josh Donaldson. 
This is the same team that got swamped by the Astros last season in the playoffs. Let's use common sense here. Let's stop acting like we have the IQ of a turkey. It shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that the 2023 Yankees suck. If you had any hope in the Yankees being a great team, you're not paying attention. And I'm not the one to say how to be a fan, but fans like you are the problem. You weed up all of the BS. Again, the way you fix the Yankees, make them irrelevant. If you're a fan, a content creator, put in the same effort that this front office puts into the Yankees. Put in the same effort that these coaches put into the Yankees. Put in the same effort that these players put in the Yankees. Because they're taking us for granted. Just imagine if the Tampa Bay Rays had a P. Seminetti. Just imagine if the Rays had a MOY recaps. All the time and effort they put in would be justified. As for the Yankees, a billion dollar organization, their payroll almost at 300 million. They can't show squat for it. Folks, then putting this effort into this team, it's a waste of time. We've seen it. They don't care what the fans think. They don't care about the fans' opinions. Let's stop living in denial. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. This is me, Felix from m one newscom Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.